David, the last three years have been an amazing journey for the West Ham supporters in Europe. Why do you think the European games have connected with them so much? Well, I think first and foremost that we hadn't been in Europe for so long and I think that the thought of getting back was uh, was something which was probably way above our, our sort of ambitions at the time. But the year in COVID, we'd done brilliantly well, you know, and we got we got great results, and uh, which saw us finishing sixth in the Premier League and got us into, first of all, uh, back into Europe. And I think for the supporters, it was a great feeling that we were we were sort of going to attempt to go on a European journey. And let's be fair, we were novices at it, so we, we didn't know if it was going to last. Just the group stages are a bit longer, but thankfully, uh, the first year we'd done it, we got through the group stages, top to group stages. Still remember the first game at Dinamo Zagreb, really, and was winning there. So, uh, no, great memories. And throughout the three years, you've taken it seriously. You've played full-strength team. Why has it been important to you that, to, to do that? Well, I think, I, I think there'll be very few managers don't treat European football uh, correctly. I mean, we've been able to juggle our squad a little bit in, in some of the games, which has actually helped us, to be honest because it's meant that, you know, everybody's been involved, everybody's felt as if they've been, they've been used as well. Uh, I have to say it's got much tougher this year because of the level of the opposition. But I actually think the European competitions have got, have got tougher th themselves and, uh, and we've, we've really enjoyed them. It's hard work when you're playing Thursday, Sunday, it's, it's part of it, but we've got, we've got partly used to it. And I always think it's my job to try and get us playing Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. So, Obviously, that would mean Champions League. Winning the Conference League uh, the, last year, do you feel that changed perceptions of West Ham? I do, yeah. I think that uh, I think I think to be a, a, a cup-winning team, especially in Europe, is not something that happens to too many. And you know, uh, you hear supporters still singing songs of, uh, of them, the competitions they've won 10, 20 years ago because they you know they. They relate to it, they look back at it as, as really important parts of the club's history and, and many of them maybe been at the game. So uh, I hope this one uh, for West Ham supporters is really important to them and, and I'm sure it is because we as players and staff, we were thrilled by the result, we were thrilled by the, the trip we were on and uh, Prague will live in our memory for a long time. What do these runs mean to you as coaching staff? Does it sort of inspire and galvanise you guys as well? Well, I think it, West Ham getting recognised back in, in European football. You know, we, we, we've all been watching Champions League and the European competitions over many years. I know the Conference League had only started a year before. But in, in the main, we're all watching the games, looking at the teams coming through. So, first of all, to be competitive with them, to play against them. And uh, we've done a pretty good job in all the games. You know, we've had trips to Holland and Belgium and France at different times. And we've you know, been in Denmark. We've been, we've been all over, really. So... So from that point of view, I think this football club in the last three years, we've really enjoyed that experience. Has it also helped the atmosphere at London Stadium? It was like the Sofia mm. game in particular yeah. a couple of years ago, really, really, that was when the West Ham fans yeah. fell in love with the place. I, definitely, I think uh, I think you have to remember Sofia were, were probably uh, you know, winners, I don't know how many times. You no, know, They were so good at, in the competition and had won the competition a few times. So for us to go to Seville and lose 1-0 and then come back and, and, and beat them in extra time at our place was a, was a huge, huge result. And uh, I think that probably gripped everybody. But I think it was a game, went to extra time. Jan Malenko scores a winner in extra time. So I think there was lots of, lots of things in it which absolutely made it so positive. But I do, I do believe that probably the couple of nights, Seville, Leon, when maybe the noises were heard the stadium. And, uh, you know, it's something we always wanted to do. I wasn't here when West Ham first moved to the London Stadium, but I think the board, David Sullivan, came out and said that, you know, they were looking forward to European football uh, back at the London Stadium. Well, uh, that's happened in the last few years. Do you remember the first time you heard the West Ham a massive chant? <laughs> Actually, somebody said to me, you know, have you heard this massive? And I'm saying, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? What was it? But, uh, no, nah, it, it certainly caught on. And, uh, you know, it was great. We had, we had great fun with it, certainly in the final and, and round those games. We, you know, last season, for example, even winning the semi-final in Alkmaar, uh, Pablo Fernandes got the, the sort of winning goal late on. was uh, was huge and big, big nights and nights you remember. What would it mean to do it again? Uh, well, I think it's a bit when you taste it, you want to go again. It really does. And 
you know, I'm looking forward to the, I'm looking forward to this game now because this game, you know, smells a bit a little bit like Seville. We have to come from behind. Uh, I think West Ham are probably quite often we used to be the underdogs and had to fight for it and show what we're all about. So we've got an opportunity to show if we can do that.